Hey, thanks for the question. That's a really good one. So really what's most important about the camera that you use for real estate photography is that one, it's manual, and then two, that it can do automatic exposure bracketing. Um, because you need to do HDR photography when it comes to real estate photography. And what that means is that your camera can do three, five, or seven brackets um, to capture a space. And what that's going to do is it's going to capture um, from the darkest shadows to the brightest highlights, um, which it'll create three, five, or different exposures. And then you're going to use a software called Photomatics to um, process those images to come out with one awesome image. So now the camera. It really doesn't matter. When you're starting, you can start with a budget camera, like a Canon M50. Um, and you can go on Facebook, Marketplace, or Craigslist, find somebody in one of the oldest listings that's out there because they're going to be more negotiable on the price. And you can get a whole setup probably for under $800, probably even cheaper than that if you're, if you're not like in this big rush to get everything. So it's really not about the camera. It's about the user. It's always about the, the camera operator. Um, so whether it's Canon, Nikon, Olympus, Sony, whatever, it doesn't matter. It's whatever feels good in your hand is the one you should use. But again, most important factor is that it, is that it has automatic exposure bracketing. Now, one other thing I would highly suggest is that it has a monitor that flips out to the side because when you're photographing, you're constantly bending down and you're looking into the viewfinder. So if you could have a camera where it has the monitor the, the, that flips out to the side and you can turn it up or down and then you can just stand up straight and then you can look down into the monitor. Um, as a 55 year old man who's done over 4,500 properties, I can tell you that it doesn't help my back constantly having to bend over um, all the time. So that would be the other recommendation that I would have. So thanks for the question. If you'd like to learn any more, um, you know, you can visit my profile or you can ask me more questions and I just love to help people. So thanks again. Have a great day. Talk to you soon.